Hi guys and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife channel and today I'm going to be doing my monthly cheapy challenge and that is going to be car plans demon foam So this is going to be just like my last monthly cheapy challenge um, with a snow foam. I'm going to be using it on the car. I'm just going to try and get it to a usable, decent foam. Now it might happen on the first attempt. It might not. My car is quite clean, so you're not going to really see the cleaning power on my car. However, like I said in one of my videos last week, I finally have a black bonnet. That bonnet hasn't been washed by me. It's been left in the owner's garden and it is filthy. So I'm also going to spray this on that bonnet and see how much dirt we can take off. So to start off with this product, they sell it as demon foam. So they sell it as a snow foam. However, the instructions on the back do not tell you how to use this as a snow foam. They tell you how to use it as a shampoo in a bucket. Why sell a product as a snow foam and not give you directions on how to use it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this like I do with any other snow foam. 100ml of this product to 500ml of water and we're going to see how it goes. Now before I get started, you're probably going to notice um, I've changed my standard Bosch lance. I've sort of modified it a bit into a stubby lance. So I'm now using quick connect like fittings. So I've got all the quick connect fittings and a quick connect snow, gun, snow foam gun. And you're going to notice I'm also using a different snow foam gun. That is from Infinity Wax. I am going to do a review on them later in the week. The only reason I'm only getting one video out today is because A, it's been bank holiday. B, I've seen family so I haven't quite had time to get around to doing it and see the weather is absolutely awful i'm getting this in between sort of rain showers so you have to bear with me guys i'll make sure i get them reviews out as soon as i can so let's go ahead and try this snow foam out so guys i've rinsed the car off now let's give this a whirl now like i said this is at 100 mil to 500 mil of water that is like what you get with polar blast Maguire's, alien magic anything like that they all use that same sort of dilution ratio so let's see how the demon plan stands up to this ratio. So I'm pleasantly surprised with that guys. Um, for a product that only costs £4.50, that's given quite a good foam. I mean, it's not as good as some of the other snow foams out there, but for a cheap budget snow foam, what can I say? That is fairly good. I mean, it's not thick, but it is usable. Now, it depends on how that cleans, then this could be a fantastic product to buy. So now that's been dwelling on the car for sort of five minutes. Let's give it a rinse off and see what's left over afterwards. So guys, like I said, it's going to be a little bit hard to see on my vehicle, but it has taken that sort of loose dirt off that I've built. I mean, I cleaned the car on Saturday and I've done about four or 500 miles since then. And it's taken that loose film of dirt off the car so yeah this is this is looking good guys um, let's go try on the black bonnet at this ratio so guys here is the new trusty bonnet um, as you can see there is dirt on here I have get a bit quick rinse over um, but there is still dirt left on here this has been sat in someone's garden for a long time I've taken it over and I haven't washed it myself so let's see how this demon foam does So again guys, it isn't the thickest, but look at the usable foam. 
again for three pounds to four pound fifty. Wow. Um, so let's see how this goes. So guys, that has been five minutes. Let's rinse it off and see what this has done. So guys, I've let the bonnet dry a little bit. You can see a few patches of dirt, but they're not as dirty as they were. Now, a snow foam isn't there to take all that road grime off. And all these companies that sell touchless washes, to me, they are, then they're useless. You're always gonna have to go over with a sponge, a mitt, or whatever you choose to wipe that vehicle over with. Unless your car is like mine and washed on a very regular basis, there's no such thing as a touchless wash. It won't take big clumps of dirt off. It won't take ingrain dirt off. All it does is takes that loose and sort of grime and road dirt off the vehicle. There's no way you're going to get a snow foam that's going to take all that dirt off in one go. However, they do loosen up the dirt. And again, on this bonnet, it has loosened up a hell of a lot of dirt. Now you can see all the scratches. I couldn't see these before. This is the first wash this bonnet's had since I picked it up. And I can now see where the scratches are, where someone's tried to wash it with what looks like a Brillo pad. But it has done a good job at reasonable cost. I mean, you can see now on the camera, that bonnet is looking shiny. Although there's still dirt there, it is looking a hell of a lot shinier than it did when I first put the camera up. So, now let's crack on and see what we can do with a snow foam. I wanna see how thick I can get this. So if you know me, you know there's one thing, or one thing only I'm interested in, and that is thick foam. So now I'm going to up the concentration and I'm going to double it. 200 mil to 500 mil of water. Let's see if I can get this thick. So guys, this is going to be double concentration. Now one thing I can quickly say is, please make sure you tune in next week. These quick connects, I was a bit dubious about them style. I've seen people using them and I thought, well, maybe they leak. Maybe they're not going to be as good as they say. I now will not be without them. They are a fantastic product to buy. And I'll show you next week how to change your lance into a stubby lance without paying a fortune. But let's now see what this is going to be like at double concentration. Wow. So at double concentration, that is as thick as Maguire's ultimate snow foam. You're paying four pound, three pound fifty to four pound fifty a bottle for this. You get a litre. That's an unbelievable saving. I, I am speechless. I was expecting to come into this and this be absolutely useless, like the Simon Eyes shampoo snow foam. I'm blown away. Um, Wow. So guys, um, I'm blown away. So there's one more thing. I'm sure all of you guys are sitting there saying, I did this with a Simon Eyes. I'm gonna do it with this one. I've done it one to 500 mil. I've done it 50-50. Let's now try this neat. It's cheap. I can do it. It doesn't hurt me. So let's try it guys. Let's see what it comes out like. So I've now filled it up neat. I'm going to pop it on the car and I'm going to see how thick we can get this snow foam. What? No way. Guys, I don't know if you can hang on. I've got to show you this.
Look at that! That is the thickest snow foam I have ever seen. What's happening? Speechless. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So let's now go through some product details um, and have a bit of talk about this. So guys, what did you think? I'm blown away. Like I mentioned earlier, I've always looked at things like car plan to be cheap and nasty and it's just a snob in me. Um, I was genuinely thinking this is gonna be like the Simon eyes. I was expecting it to be watery. I was expecting it to, no matter how I tried to get thick, um, hold my hands up, I'm wrong. So one of the main reasons I wanted to try this product is because it is cheap. And my brother-in-law has asked me a couple of times what I think of the product. Now I've never tried it before. I'm a bit of a snob. I've always looked at Meguiar's, Auto Gleam, anything like that. And I've always thought they're going to be good. Things like Car Plan and Demon Shine are not going to be very good. Also, I haven't seen many reviews on this on YouTube. I've seen people doing it through like the standard lances you get with like a Karcher, which they don't produce much foam. I've seen people using it through the ones where you get that you attach it to your normal hose pipe. Again, they don't produce a lot of foam. They're not real foam cannons. Not like these ones, these guys. Again, like I say, there's no instructions on the back whatsoever on how to use this as a snow foam in your snow foam lance. It tells you how to use it in a bucket. Why sell a product called snow foam and then tell you how to use it in a bucket? Anyway. Now there's not a lot on the back. It doesn't tell you if it's LSP, if it's anything like that, which I have found online, apparently it is last stage protection safe. So you're not gonna strip any wax off using this. Um, they say that it's got high performance detergents. They all say it's all got high performance detergents. Most of them say it's gonna remove this, remove that, remove this. And some of them do, some of them don't. Now from that bonnet I have over there, it has done a fairly good job at removing nasty road grime. I can run my hand over that now and I can't feel any sort of loose dirt. So it has removed it. Now, if you were to use this at 100 mil of product to 500 mil, you're looking at around 45 p a wash. Meguiar's, at full price, you're looking at 190 a wash. Again, this isn't as thick at standard dilution ratio, but at double the strength, so 200 mil of this to 600 mil of water, what's that, 90 p? You're looking at a snow foam that is just as good as Meguiar's ultimate snow foam. Now I use that as a benchmark because that's the first snow foam I ever used. That's a, it's a decent thick snow foam. So now at full ratio, so just using product only at 600 mil, say 500 mil, so that makes it a little bit easier. You're looking at two pound 50 a wash. Now that's 50p more than you pay with Meguiar's. You get twice the strength of foam. When I first hit that with the car, I don't know if you can see it in the video, it was just like a marshmallow had hit the car. It weren't full, it was just stuck there. And then all of a sudden it just starts to mould down the car. And when it is like that, it is taking dirt with it. See, now the problem with me is, I've had people say to me that, oh, you know, some snow foams, they're not meant to be foamy. They are. Without that foam, it is not encapsulating that dirt. It is gonna dry on that paintwork quicker. You want that foam to run down the car and take that dirt with it. Now, there is such thing as too thick a foam. If you spray that on there and it didn't move, you're not shifting any dirt whatsoever. You're just sticking it to the car. And again, you don't want that. But this, it stuck to the paintwork and then it slowly went down at every dilution ratio. At standard, it is a usable product. So guys, should you buy this? Yes, you really should. You should not be without this. For £4.50 for one litre. If you use this at standard dilution ratio, if you're not worried about thick foam, you're gonna be saving yourself money. Now, I am a snob again, like I said, I buy Meguiar's, I buy Auto Gleam. 
I think for every wash, I'm going to be having this in my arsenal because there is no reason why you shouldn't. I have been the hairy housewife. You have been great. Tune in next week to see my latest reviews. Now, if there's anything you guys think I should be trying on my cheapy challenge, please drop it down in the comments below because all I seem to be finding is snow foams. Now, I really want to try other products to so find something, anything, round the sort of £5 mark, pop it in the comments and I will give it a go for you.